Shea Bear 1000 here. I got Monkey over here. She's going to be doing some filming too, uh, making a video as well. But what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making homemade chicken noodle soup. It's fairly simple. I won't say it's real easy. The hardest part's, I guess, making the noodles. But other than that, it's, it's, and that's not that hard. So we're going to show you how to do that and hopefully you enjoy it. Stick around and we'll get to it. Okay guys, this is the chicken we're going to use, okay, um, we're using the boneless, skinless chicken thigh fillets. Um, you can use breast, usually that's what I use, but the breast was double the price of this. So I went ahead and got these. You can use wings, whatever, just make sure you get all the bones and all the um, uh, skin off of it. So what we're going to do first is... Hopefully that'll be enough chicken because we're making a double batch here. So hopefully it'll be enough chicken. So we're just going to put this in the pan right now. Right, Monk? Yep. Monkey's over there. She's filming as well, like I said. So I'm going to put these in here because then once they boil down, while this is boiling, by the way, we're going, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the noodles. But so we're going to put that in there. Hopefully that'll be enough because I like a lot of chicken. Now, like I said, you can use thighs, you can use turkey, uh, whatever kind of fowl meat you want, um, pigeon, owl, or whatever. But hey there. you can, um, you know, what, <laughs> whatever you want, you can, you know, substitute. You can mix them if you want, a little bit of turkey, a little bit of chicken, um, just Whatever, duck, goose uh, would be good, I, though I've never tried duck or goose, but I think that would be awesome. But then again, it would not be chicken noodle soup. But, so I'm just gonna just cover this with water and I'm gonna boil it down. And there's some things I'll explain to you as we go along, but I'm gonna let that boil. And while that's boiling, we're gonna make the noodles. So let me get some water in there and I'll get this on. Okay guys, we have our chicken on. Now like I said, if you're gonna use like a whole chicken, you can also buy that uh, that rotisserie chicken already cooked, you can use it. Right. But if you're gonna use uh, like say some chicken legs and chicken wings mixed together, you just go ahead and you keep boiling it and it'll all pretty much fall off the bone. Just make sure you get all the bones out. But so like I said, we're gonna be making a double batch, but I'll tell you a, a single, you know, for some noodles, you're going to want, you're going to need one egg, two tablespoons of milk, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one cup of all-purpose flour. Now, I'm just doubling all this up, okay? So, we're going to combine all this. Like I said, this is two cups, but like I said, it's I'm just doubling up. So, there's our flour, and we're going to put, so I will need um one teaspoon of salt since i'm doubling um like i said you can add more or less it's up to you it's your creation you know there'll be a lot of things you can substitute in this now we're going to do our eggs whoops like i said normally great <laughs> oh i got my sous chef here andy sous chef. <laughs> huh Shoe chef? All right. I got my shoe chef here. All right. Um, normally be one egg, of course. But like I said, <coughs> that. Um, let's see. We got our salt, our flour. We need um, two tablespoons of milk. But like I said, since we are doubling up, I'm going to be using four tablespoons of milk. do this a couple times you won't need to because I keep forgetting myself because I don't make them a lot but I just brought it up here on my phone so okay so there's that now we're going to combine all these ingredients together um, 
and I wasn't prepared, my bad. They say always use a wooden spoon when you're mixing flour and stuff, so. Uh -huh. I've heard that before. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get all this mixed up. Yay. Then we'll, once it gets formed together, we'll, we'll make a dough ball. <laughs> Excuse me. Should have had your camera on your head, Monk. Yeah, I could have tried it. Yeah. Okay. If you saw my last video, Monkey got another Christmas present, January the 9th. That I ordered November 24th, I think it was. Wow. So almost six weeks. That's something. And remember, if you need to add a little bit of this or that, you can add tiny bits at a time if it okay so we got this kind of mixed together here now we're gonna now remember we're not making bread so this does not have to rise okay so we're gonna just mix this up now I'm gonna shut you off for a minute while I get this mixed up and once I get once I get a good dough ball ready, I'll show you what we're going to do next. You mean a snowball? Okay, once I get a snowball ready, we're, we're, don't mind monkey, she's been drinking today, so. No. I have a story about her here in a few minutes, so no. hang tight guys, I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so what are we going to do next, monk? We are going to make noodles, yay! <laughs> okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of this flour here, and we're just going to sprinkle some down here. Can't wait till we get the new oh. granite in here. Yeah, these are nice. As you can see here, we made a ball. Okay, Big can ball. you see that? All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to roll this out. Okay. Now, I usually put some on here too. That's just something I've seen my grandma do. And you're gonna want it to be about a quarter inch thick. Which I have a roller there that will make that happen for me. Since I'm doing a double batch, I think what I'm gonna do is I need to grab a knife. Grab a knife here. And I'm just gonna cut this in half. Okay, I'm going to put half of it over here. I'm going to take this. Um, this thing, by the way, guys. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. This thing, by the way, I kept wondering. You know, I thought it was a stupid design because you have to put it on the side of a table in order to use that. Well, there is a base this thing's supposed to sit on. So you can keep all your stuff in it, and which I don't have the base. But I can buy parts for these. So... I got this set to where it's going to give me uh, just about a quarter, maybe a little less than a quarter of an inch. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to put my little handle in here. You see okay, monkey? Mm -hmm. And we're just going to roll this out. Do you want me to hold it? If you want. Because you don't have the base, then that probably keeps it steady. Now, like I said, if you don't have one of these guys, it's not an issue. Just... I'm putting my hand in the wrong place here. Um, just keep using your roller, your rolling pin, and roll that out to about a quarter of an inch. And then you'll cut your noodles to whatever thickness you want. Okay. That's cool. And there's... And there's our dough. Okay, like the well, and what I like to do, so I'm not messing around with that, I'll cut that in half, okay? Mm -hmm. Kind of like the old washing machines, that's right, monkey. Mm -hmm. If they remember the old ringer washers. Yep. Okay, now this has <clears throat> two settings on it. We're going for the wide noodles, there's the thin noodles, okay? So, I'm showing both cameras, guys, so, because we're both filming today, huh? 
We like to do that sometimes. And you're showing right. me how to use this thing. Yeah. Because I didn't get to see it. Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put it in the wide, the wide one here. We're going to put our handle in this one. Just like that. We want to start this down in here. Oh, hold on. Oh, it's so fucking cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and neato, neato, neato. And in the back we have noodles. we have our noodles. Okay. Yeah. So now these noodles, I forgot to tell you, these noodles here, you don't have to wait on them to dry out. You don't. Nope. Why? The the way you make them here, you can just throw them right in the pot. Okay, so and when do you have to use like lay them out and dry them out? Well, if you make it this way, you don't have to. We're going to let them dry out a little bit because I don't want them sticking together. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, but you don't have to. And way you can tell if these noodles, these kind of noodles, are done mm -hmm. when they start floating, they're done. But we're going to let them dry out a little bit while we chop up our our um, what do you call it? Our vegetables so I'd like to show them this but I can't but anyway so we're gonna do this oh. it's all right oh, my hand's getting in anyway. yeah. you're coming I know. it's all right it's all right I got, you I got it, it. So that's pretty cool there you go well, so you normally you give them to me, I'll lay them out. These noodles here, all these noodles in this pile, mm -hmm. would normally be one batch. So it's quite a lot of noodles. It is. I'll put um, them in there and I'll straighten them out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like I said, these do not have to dry if you make them this way. Um, but we're going to let them dry just a little bit while we make the, uh, chop up the um, uh, vegetables. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this back out again and I'm going to go ahead and just keep I'm going to do just like we like you guys just saw and then we'll move on to cutting up the vegetables which is self-explanatory but we'll show that too all right so hang tight guys and we'll be right back with you okay guys now <laughs> I wasn't going to show this, but Monkey said it's part of it, so I guess I'll show, I, I'll just show a few seconds of it. Yeah. We'll do one carrot, and then, uh, what I've got here, I've got six decent-sized carrots. Um, again, use as, as much or as little as, as you want. It's your creation, it's your dish, and if your company does not like it, you just tell them that door works both ways. They can go out it just as easy as they came in it. All right, Monk? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll show you how to do one of these. All right. And again, it's just, you know, cut that off. Cut that end off. Just make sure you got... You don't need one of these things, guys. You, you can use a knife and scrape it, too, if you want. Um, these things are cheap. So, now, again, how do you cut the carrots? Any way you want to cut your carrot is fine you know just as thick or as thin as you want you know um i usually like to do smaller slices and then what i like to do is just cut them in half you know you can cube them if you want not cube in but cube them if you want you know just make little squares out of them but, you know, just whatever you want to do. Same way with the onion. You can dice it or whatever. Like these onions here that we got. Monkey called them screen, uh, spring onions. I grew up calling them green onions. Um, so I'm only going to, this is a big white onion that we're going to put in. Again, however much you want of it. What I'm going to do is I'm probably only going to use half of that big onion since I'm going to be using these okay so you've heard of sour cream and chives you know what the chives are right what? the green parts right. so you can dice these up and use them in different um, 
different recipes and then these you just you can do one at a time or whatever just just chop them up whatever makes your fancy fancier you know whatever's to your taste or that yes so you know this is what we're going to do uh, again same way with the uh celery you don't have to add it sometimes i do sometimes i don't i like it either way just the same uh depending on how much of it you want make sure you wash it first you don't want to use the white part but i'll show you this um then i'll wash it up so you just want the green part you don't want the the best part i know this is the best part but you're not going to, want to use that and then again just um what I usually do is just chop it up just like that. So, you see, Monk? Was I in the way? Yeah. Okay. Just chop it up. And again, you can chop these up and then put them in a, a big strainer. I'll show you the strainer I've got here. Put it in a strainer or the bowl type. I've got several here. And then you can wash them all together, which is probably what I'm going to do here. Is just... Uh, Put all this stuff, you know, in here, the carrots and everything. Run them under water and wash them up. And then, then I'll show you what we're going to do after we get all these cut up. We'll move on to the next step. Right, Monk? Yeah. I scooted them right over in with the junk. <laughs> um, also, you can use bay leaves, um, thyme, and all that. We're not going to put a whole bunch of seasoning in it. But we're going to use some salt, pepper, a little bit of lemon pepper. Again, to your taste. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. You know, I mean, just like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get these chopped up, get the onion diced up. And we're going to get them, get it washed up. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with the vegetables after we get these diced up. Okay. Now, we took the chicken out. I just put it in a, another little pan over there for now because we still have to shred that up. Now, this is what the chicken was boiling in. I'm going to use one of these. This is what I got right here. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, what is it, Swanson chicken broth. And I'm just going to go ahead and, since we're doing so much. Now, if you're just making a regular batch of this, um, you can just get four cans of the chicken broth or one of these and that'll suit you and, and if you need more broth you can always add a little bit of water with some um you know throw a boiling cube in there if you'd like which i did throw one in here with the chicken because i really want that flavor but we're going like i said we're doubling up we're going to be using two of these so what i'm going to do now monkey has worst our vegetables and I'm going to put the vegetables, just going to put them right in here. Now I'm going to boil these uh, at a light boil, not a heavy boil. We're going to bring these up to a boil. And like I said, I'm going to lightly boil them for about 5 to 10 minutes. Okay. And then, after we get that done, I'll show you what we're going to do next. So first, we'll just bring it to a boil. Like I said, then we'll lightly boil it for five to ten minutes. You don't want them to get soggy because they're still going to have to cook more with the noodles. So stick around. We got more coming. Okay, guys. These I actually had simmering just about like this is what I was talking about. Just, just like a simmer. Um, you can boil them and get them done faster if you want. But I've had them going for six to seven minutes ish right there so what we're going to do is we're going to transfer this over into this pan so let me move this out of the way also i forgot to mention i put three cloves of garlic in here minced garlic you don't have to add any if you don't want but it is good for the heart so we're going to go ahead we're going to dump this in there um we're going to add our other soup broth and, and if you find you need more broth guys like i said you can add uh add more water if you want more more broth add more water um you may have to put a a boiling cube in it or whatever so yeah just uh you know don't don't let it run dry 
Now what we're going to do, we're going to put the noodles in and we're going to cook this for 10 minutes or until the noodles are starting to get tender. Usually once they start floating, they're done. So we'll say 10 minutes. It might take less. I'll let you know about that uh, once we get to that. So now we're going to put our noodles in and the chicken's still cooling. And while the noodles are cooking, we're going to go ahead and shred up the chicken or you can cut it up cube it up however you want to do it like i said it's your it's your recipe all right so i got these here and if my sous chef will get the other ones now i'm probably going to go ahead and i'm going to bring this up to a boil now what i'm probably going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and put um, another boiling cube in it just because we really like the chicken flavor okay so I'm going to go ahead and get that um, this is what I use the nor the chicken boiling cubes here um, you can also use the uh, little granules or you can use the regular cube whatever or add some more beef broth or or uh, chicken broth or chicken stock whatever you prefer um, really it's it's just kind of like making a stew you just put a bunch of stuff together and you know like I say once the noodles are made now you can if you want go buy you some rigatoni or whatever that stuff is if you want to but to me there's no comparison as using um, we still got a lot don't we mm -hmm. using uh, homemade noodles because technically it's really not homemade without the homemade noodles it's just semi-homemade you can say There's sorry you're there. falling get that noodle put him in there with these buddies oh there's a noodle mama mm -hmm. okay is that it that's it okay now i'm going to give these just a a quick stir Yeah, it's looking nice all right now we're going to let these cook like i said i'll bring them to a boil and we'll let them cook for you know until they start floating you can just do that if you want um, that's normally what i do when they start floating they're done but you don't want to overcook them either you don't want them getting soggy but there we go all right Let's get to that. We'll let that do its thing and then we'll add the meat here shortly. Okay guys, here we go. Let's let them simmer. Been what, about 10 minutes? Now we're gonna add our chicken, which I probably should put two packs in there, but that's okay, because we've got a great chicken flavor here. We're gonna stir these in. Now since everything's done now, I'll show you what the noodles should look like when they're done. Um, since this is done now, all you wanna do just simmer it for a couple minutes just to get your chicken nice and warm and you're you're all done you're ready to go now i'll show you what the noodles should look like when they're done they should look just like that okay so kind of a little springy right yeah yeah mm. Mm. very good so we're gonna let the simmer for you know two or three minutes depending um just enough to get your chicken warm and then we'll have monkey time out. Yay! All right, we'll be back. Okay, guys, so here we go. This is all done. I did add a little bit more water for some more broth because it did reduce down some. So let's get a heaping helping of this for monkey so she can try it. Ooh, look at those noodles. <laughs> Good. So there's that. Mm. Oh my. Alright, now let me get you up here so mm. you can see her. So I'm gonna try it. Looks really good. It smells fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> um, oh wow. <laughs> you like? Oh yeah. I'm done. It's time to eat. <laughs> <laughs> very good very good flavor's really good mm. 
Yep. Well, you like it. That's good. Oh, yeah. You're going right. to have to make this more often. Of course. Definitely. And, and again, guys, you yeah. can make the noodles ahead of time, throw them in a bag. You can freeze them. It'll stay good for a long time. Now, this stuff, if you can help it, let that cool down, put it in the fridge overnight. Don't freeze it. Just put it in the fridge overnight, reheat it the next day. It's even three times better. Mm -hmm. um, also, if you want, you can make a bunch of this up and freeze it. And then all you have to do is, you know, right. heat it up later at a yep. later date. So, yep. yeah. You need it. You um, I did, like I said, it. I did put some um, garlic and uh, lemon pepper and regular crushed black pepper. Mm -hmm. Um, that's pretty much all the seasoning I, I put in it, but you guys can put whatever you want in it. Uh, some people put peas in it. Now, if you're making your homemade noodles and you make the real tiny thin ones, you can make it oriental style and put some peas and corn in it oh. too as, as well. And then you got like an oriental uh, style soup. Right. Now the noodles, you know, you might have to, uh, they make theirs maybe a little different, but either way, you know, it's, it's your recipe now. Take it around with it. If you make it, let me know down below how well it turned out for you because uh, apparently this turned out pretty good. I'm going to try yep. it. We're going to get mom some. And mm -hmm. uh, we want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Appreciate it. Yep. Yep. It's really good, babe. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yep. So that being said, I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. And Monkey says she's out for both of you. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye, guys. And mm -hmm. take care.